Hi there, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Challenge Mode. Last episode ended with me making my way through clouds, antagonizing the caretaker, Oswald Woodman, uh, Forrest, and uh, and then getting shot, <laughs> pretty much killed in one shot uh, by him, but you know, them's the breaks. And this time, I'm starting right from that point. Uh, obviously reloaded an earlier save, and hoping for a rematch against uh, against this guy. So let's see how it goes. Kind of hard to take that lady seriously, the one that's yelling about seeing her claws. Buddy, get closer to the door while you're reloading. That's a great idea. Miller will be very disappointed. Doors and corners. That's where they get you. Oh! Speaking of doors and corners. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, there you go. Pull out the other pistol. So now my vision is all over as well. Ooh. He still had the sixth round. I need to count better. Right, here we go. Reload. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what these henchmen are doing, but they don't really know where I am. He was like, ah crap, this guy's coming to punch me in the face again, isn't he? He tried to back away, but there was no play. To battle! Well, let's go, buddy. To battle. Three, four. Four, five, six. Boom. He fell on the ground. Oh, that's embarrassing for you, sir. That is. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? He just huffed. What a cheater. What a cheater. Not only is he using a gun in a fist fight, but he also has healing on him. Three, two, two, three, two, three, four. Oh crap, definitely miscounted. I was thinking about what that guy just uh, taunted me with. I don't think that's how skinny works, man. No, at least not if you're doing it right. Last punch, 2%, very nice. Two, three, four. Come on, come on. Five, six. Don't close the door on me. Three, come on. Four, five, six. Boom. Yeah, you cheater. Try to, try to hit me with the butt of his gun. Are you kidding? Two, three, four, five, six. And there you go. I'm sorry, did you get stuck on your own desk? Cover fire! Oh no, what? No, 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 no. 
freaking door. Five, six. Yeah, right in the kidneys, there you go. Well, aren't you the Ooh. king of fuck ups? You're not. He was preparing to fire there. Now what? That's Hell, real, buddy. Why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? I didn't kill him. Or He's scour his cop. That just my work. He's alive. He's alive. It's fine. Oh, He's yeah. alive. What a cheater! What a cheater this guy is. We're doing this bad dragon to the woodman. Goods are taken care of, round up uh, five or six girls and two guys, but make sure they're actually young, not like last time. Oh my god, these guys are all monsters. Yeah. Especially that one. Broken Sold doll. Off to a ripper. Jeez, Johnny. Ship was busted. Will you let me read the, the freaking email? Up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toys wet dream. More like a nightmare. I read about this guy. Fingers. His name uh, was mentioned in an email that Anna Hamill, the honest cop who was investigating the Kabuki market, received from um, somebody at the precinct who was, I guess, sympathetic to her cause and wasn't 100% corrupt yet. Yeah, he, he had a German-sounding name, and basically when you put his first name and last name together, I think it was Finn Gerstad or something, it, it basically made fingers. Um, I'm thinking that's where he got it, the idea from. Heard you specialize in joy toys. Got one here that's busted up pretty bad. Mind taking a look? Ask for me at Clouds. What's wrong with her? I think I'd be asking you if I knew. Just come over and look. All right, bring her here. Got a clinic on Jig Jig side alley off of Poplar. How much you charge? Depends. We'll work something out. Worst case, you leave her here for a small fee. Wow, really? Just terrible, terrible things happening to Evelyn. You know what? Jerry to the Woodman. Message me back about the job at Clouds. Got another offer. Gotta give them an answer. Not like they're gonna wait forever. That's not how it works. I'm not in charge of hiring. Send a portfolio. Even though Tom said that he was in charge of, of uh, finding talent. Oh, so now you're telling me to send a portfolio because that's not what you said last time when you wanted to screw me. <laughs> All right. You owe me. From the Woodman to Ginger Lane Investigation Services. This is the person that's investigating what happened to Evelyn. Hey Ginger, how's things? Hope you're in, in top top shape. Isn't that supposed to be tip top shape? As usual, and that you haven't literally sucked all your badge contacts bone dry yet. I need a hollow view stat. That's the uh, that's the machine that we used to recreate what happened, what had happened. I know the pigs have one that's prime Rango one for me. I also need you to do some sniffing around here. Rango, go Rango yourself. Let's start over. The little orgy you had with my dolls, well, they scroll everything. So if you don't want your dear husband to get an email from me, I'm going to need that whole of you tomorrow morning. Fine. All right. Get your stuff together. From Michael to the Woodman. This is the second mention of Michael that I've come across. One more crap show, like with Evelyn Parker, and you can kiss your job goodbye. Hiromi's words. So far, we've put up with your crude behavior toward employees and turn a blind eye when you beat up a client. But this, this was beyond the pale. So I'm guessing the woodman has two bosses. One is Maiko and the other one is Hiromi. Problem solved from the woodman to Hiromi Sato. Hey boss, solve the Parker problem. Send her to a ripper on Jig Jig Street. The guy's name is Fingers, though he should be called Face. Anyway, he should take care of her from here. So I'm guessing Evelyn was in such bad shape that she is not coming back to clouds. Also, it looks like uh, maybe the, the working dynamic is a bit more complicated. It's not, that he, it's not that the Woodman has two bosses, Hiromi and Maiko. It's more that, I guess, Woodman and Maiko both work, work under Hiromi. All right, fair enough. Well, we got the info. I really do feel bad for Evelyn. It seems that she was held here for three days, during which time I don't want to even think what kind of monstrosities have happened to her um, at the hands of this guy. And then when he deemed that she no longer had any use, he basically brought her to that uh, fingers guy. Who obviously couldn't fix whatever was wrong because Evelyn is nowhere to be seen and her stuff has been here long enough that her coat was all crumpled up on the floor of the dressing room. It looks like... Um, the club has gone into lockdown mode. 
and there are guards posted everywhere. Okay, really? The, this guy does not break line of sight with the other guy, he can see me through his friend. Unfortunate. We should start taking these guys out. Huh? There we go. This way. That's far enough. What's going on? <laughs> Is someone in here? No. Uh, where you going? Where you going, buddy? What a weird path to take to the AC. You couldn't just walk in the door and look at it. Hey. Hi. I'm going to steal all your weapons. Actually, now that I think about it, there was a hallway. That's not a real door. That's a pretend door. Weird, this no longer, this had, used to have some kind of a requirement, but it no longer does. What about this elevator? And off. Great, great, great. Yeah, the place under lockdown makes sense, makes sense. Okay, no one is here. I've obviously been through here already. Let's go ahead and turn the security back on and turn it off again. In case any of the cameras, you know, got switched on. Hopefully that should cover it. But still, keep an eye out for cameras. And here, why is this showing up as something I can investigate? I've already read this. I, I guess the icon just didn't realize it. Okay, we have a smart glass. We have two guys uh, right there. And one of them looks the, um, what do you call it? The Ozeki, the Ozeki type. They're basically brawlers. They have uh, brake hold and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna be careful with those. Yeah, let's just ping him. His body is hidden behind that pillar. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Yep, right there. All right, now. Let's check this guy. Yeah, yeah. Let's put him inside this room. I don't want his friend seeing him. Oh, what? And this glass is on. Yes, it is. Okay, now basically I gotta do the same thing with this guy. It gets where, this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I could use, what the heck? Somebody tried to buy a burrito with a damaged poker chip. Uh, can I distract them with this thing? Yes, I can. Uh, oh, here's a baseball bat. There we go. Or something similar to a baseball bat. Okay, that's probably enough. Uh, yeah, stop taking items just because you see items. Although, was that a safe? No, a pistol. Well, that makes sense that that'll be there. Now, what's on this thing? Local network sound system off. Guess I could have switched that on. Maybe distract some people. All right. What do we have over here? Now this takes me, now this is the VIP area and this takes me to the first floor. And, oh crap, crap, already somebody's noticing me. All right, uh, you know what? I actually came up here using a service elevator right here, which leads to a room which has access to the outside. And I did activate uh, one of the mega buildings 
uh, elevators on the way up. Okay, let's see. Technical ability, right? Um, what the heck? What? Okay, when I came in, this door was unlocked and this window was even open. Okay, that's unfortunate. Wait, are you kidding? Yeah, this door does have a body requirement of seven, but only when, from the outside, mo most of these special requirement doors I've found so far they only have the requirement from one side, but from the inside you can basically just unlock it. This is the first door I've seen that doesn't do that. I don't have authorization. What are you talking about? I just looted the authorization of the guy who was in this room. Are you saying he was a prisoner here and could never leave? What the heck? Okay, I don't know what's going on. This pretty sure it's not supposed to work like this. Maybe there are some issues that need to be fixed with these doors. But it seems that for the time being, I am stuck making my way down the stairs. It's the only way to leave. Everything else is blocked or turned off or whatever. All right. I'm gonna start spotting me. Okay, I can reset right there. How many people are we dealing with? Well, the answer is a lot. Also, a few cameras by the looks of things. Okay, this guy is also looking. I can't mark him, but he's looking my direction. However, and he's really close, so I doubt I can get past him. That was pretty much my reaction when I just saw how many security personnel have been called. See me over here, and there was a crate. Yes, right there. Excellent. Yeah, this is door I couldn't open. Okay, now. Let's see if we can pull this guy Anybody in. Anybody home? No, just the AC malfunctioning. Could you take a look? Those ACs are excellent distractions. I think um, I think they have the furthest range of any distraction that I have used so far. I mean, that's my feeling anyway. For all I know, uh, maybe all the distractions have the same range. It's just uh, for whatever reason, I, I've gotten the impression that those work the best. So I saw a camera right there-ish somewhere. Is that it? Glowy thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's, that's the camera. Turn on. It is off at the moment, though. Four guys to get through, possibly another camera somewhere around here. And they're all looking in my direction. It's gonna be a little tough. Start with this guy. Is he close enough to hear this AC unit? If he is, that'll make things a lot easier. That window works. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, let's first try the AC and then we'll see what we do. It did work. Oh, yes. That makes things a lot easier. Well, somewhat easier. It's still tough. These are basically uh, just hallways with nowhere to hide in them and a lot of guys having their eyes trained in, in the direction that I'm going to be coming from. Yeah, okay. Yep. Take a look. Take a look. Oh, you're in Maelstrom? What is with these? Ocular augmentations, man. Only the Maelstromers went for like really over the top ocular stuff.
maybe he was in Maelstrom. I did come across the story of at least one person who used to work for Maelstrom and then switched sides to the Tiger Claws and Maelstrom didn't take that too well. But uh, it's probably f far from the only one. Okay, now. How the heck are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's explore the other option, which is open this window. Hostile area, yeah, okay. This is the elevator that I called before. Place the love, what? Extendable ladder. Well, how do I extend it? Okay. Can't get the in, inside the elevator from here, obviously. I cannot jump on top of it or anything like that. So what was the point of that? Maybe jump off and then uh, call it and uh, catch me in midair and puts me a, a floor above. It doesn't seem like I can actually get up there without having the jumping augmentations, which I don't. I was really hoping I could get on top of this elevator somehow and then deactivate the thing I activated before to call the elevator and then basically leave on top of the elevator. As it looks, I mean, I might be able to jump down and survive, but uh, then again, maybe not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, careful with climbing things. Extendable ladder that doesn't extend. So through this foyer we go. Can I use this surveillance camera to pull this guy in here? No, the answer is no. Can I... I wonder who's going to hear if, if I act... Let's see. The answer is nobody heard that. Oh, okay. And these guys are too high a level for reboot optics, right? Okay, what about put this machine behind them? Yeah. Take a look, see. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, and is there a camera here? There is, but it is off. Minus the, the blood explosion, which is not on me. Okay, so this camera is off. That's that's fortunate, as well as that one. These are the ones I turned off on the way in. False alarm. Well, no, it was a very real alarm. Okay, I'm gonna have to distract this guy again. Sneak up behind him. I think I don't think that guy will spot me right there. There is a crate right behind him. these guys because they actually break hold. This guy won't spot me. He's the last one guarding this place. Hey buddy. Now for what it's worth I, th I thought you had uh a really good security formation there. I mean, maybe a little bit of cover, not just any like idiots out in the open, but yeah, other than that. Just leave that guy there. 
All right, here we go. I'm required. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Don't worry, lady. I'm not going to do anything. I was also surprisingly gentle with your uh, security staff. Oh, I forgot a katana. They'll all sleep it off. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Okay, can I get back there and maybe work those computers myself? That'd be nice. I don't think I can fit through here. No? Okay, can you just can you just take one of those laptops and turn it around to face me so I can activate it? Yes? No? If you open the door, I'm pretty sure your shift is over. <laughs> no? No, I don't think that's a thing. Oh well. Okay, that was not uh, actually very difficult. I'm glad to be out of this place. 900 experience. Bunch of street cred. So hold on. Whoa. Nice work back there. Never thought of applying for the diplomatic corps. Oh, come on, like you're into diplomacy. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. Thank you. Of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. Do you? One thing's for sure though. Claus won't forget this. Okay, that's fine. I think Fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Okay, that's a fair point. Also, it, it hurts a little when you call me a corpse. Come on, man. Did I call the oh, okay, here we go. Okay, obviously the relic is uh, up to its usual tricks. We begin now with your latest local news. Yeah. The fifty fourth anniversary of the You had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. What? Not yet, it hasn't. You're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Helmet. Oh, don't worry. I'll find him. Oh, no. Oh, fuck! The hell's that? No, no. Damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Too many Nancy PD missions? Yeah, let me alone. To sell yourself to the Sakas? They'll end you. One Plain is dead. That. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. Okay, yeah, I guess that's true. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Oh, and I thought we're becoming friends. I guess I'm just your chauffeur. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You're just a hallucination? I think we're a little past that. Okay, so, this Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Stay away from the internet. Following so far? I gotcha. Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. 
Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not very quick on the update. Not stage, are you? No. 50 years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. How many cigars do you need, by the way? Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. Okay. Hold coming out. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. Okay. Sure. You're about to know my rat. <laughs> okay. I guess I didn't have reception. If you call me, it's talk biz, I don't do chit chat. Okay. Try calling Evelyn, maybe? No. Unable to give her a message. All right, I did promise Judy I'll give her a call. I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. Okay, that's a fair point. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? I'm guessing she's heard of him. Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Yeah, I surmised as much. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, Alright, later, V. Hmm, later. Okay, some gear to... Vendor doesn't have enough money. Never mind. I will not be selling any gear here. So... The space in between danger, low. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to keep pursuing this. Because I've already out-leveled it. Uh, that's, that is bad. And these are all the completed missions. Okay, let's get... Let's get the bike here, come on. 100 meters, what the... Wait for it to get through the traffic. Are you serious? Sorry, but I'm in a rush. This? So this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Yeah, it turns out that uh, in clouds, even though they promise discretion, they actually Where scroll things. It can be used later. Kind of surprised that uh, what's his name? Your noble actually went to clouds, according to the email I found on in, on his computer there. 
I don't, I, I kind of doubt that they, uh, they had the guts to scroll him. Shit, her implants are older than I. Can't believe she finds the spares to keep him running. That shit though. And this guy, NC, no, no, not you, this guy. NC resident Julius, street credit, 240. Oh, there's a bounty on this on this person. Okay, buddy. 200 street uh, for 240 street credit. You're coming with me. There we go. Milk chocolate, nice. Is it real milk or is it the uh, some kind of a, a, a cheap? Uh, Replacement. Another 240. All right. So the clinic is right here. Earl Diaz, Dennis Chavez, and Wayne Sludge. Oof, that is a bit of an unfortunate last name. Sludge. Okay. These gentlemen appear hey, to be not one step closer. up to no good. Here to see who. I don't want any trouble. Looking for fingers. Don't start. I wish I had that. Uh, again, let's take the antagonizing approach. Kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yo, you hear what this motherfucker said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Just apologize for that, asshole! Oh, yeah? You gotta be worth a damn to get an apology from me. Just gotta hear before they start shooting. And you're trash. Not worth shit. <laughs> Uh, here we go. go get him, boy. So it, yeah. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, for cheering me on. All right, so those three guys, I guess I'm just gonna stand there. Well, if that is the case, let's see if I may not be able to provide them with a bit of motivation. Can I zap any of them with short circuit? The answer is, yes, I can. Oh yeah, there you go, buddy. Why is that eye filling up still? I'm way out of line of sight. Uh, what? Looking for something raw, untouched. Raw is all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me, really scramble the neurons. We've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootout, black ops interrogations. That was weird. No, 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 no. That was really weird. Well, you know, fetishes. No, come on, you know what I mean. No, I don't. I think I'd be doing, doing this job. job if I can Let's see if we can do a drive-by, drive-by zapping. Open the door. There you go, Wayne Sludge. Hey, buddy. Oh crap. <laughs> Revealing position. Which one of you is a net runner? Completed combat. Okay, they know where I am. They know where I am. Somehow. It's magic. Ooh, there comes the combat music. <laughs> Bit of delay. That's weird, they can't follow me. But they're... Wait, who's shooting? Something really odd is going on. Something really, really weird.
these guys are super, super buggy. I mean, look at this. So going two streets over, uh, I'm sorry, two floors up and like a couple of streets over, did nothing. They're shooting at me as if they know where I am, which is impossible. They should have no idea. So up there, they could follow me, but down here, they've lost me. How does that make any sense? How does that make any amount of sense? This AI situation really does need to get fixed. Oh, hi there, Dennis. Didn't even put me in combat. Yeah, normally uh, for dealing with human enemies, I prefer to use distractions and whatnot. But the way these guys are positioned in the alley, that's not really an option. And when you pull them out of the alley, then they start acting all weird, which is, which is a sure sign that something in their AI programming is just completely off. So if they're going to be alternating between blind idiots and uh, I guess some kind of supernatural beings with unmatched perception being able to spot me and follow me through walls and whatnot, then yeah, screw these guys. Short circuit it is. Oh no, not ping. Not ping. That was on me. And one of them is even back in the alley. Okay, you know what? There you go. There you go. Okay, one is down. That guy's hurt. And the other guy has no idea where I am. Gotcha. How'd you like that, Wayne Sludge? Too bad there isn't a dumpster nearby I could throw you in. Look at this guy. Look how he's walking and where his vision cone is on the minimap. map this, uh, this is not normal. He's looking towards me the whole time he is walking. What, what is up with that? And continues to look towards me, even though he should have no idea where I am. Zero idea. As a matter of fact, you should be looking at... Oh, he fell down. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> oh, crap. And this guy was sitting in the alley when his friends were out here getting zapped. But all of a sudden, he, he knew that he had to join the fight. Yeah, Earl and Wayne, Sludge and Dennis. Yeah. Screw you guys. Screw you. Get fixed. Get fixed because you are super buggy. I'm guessing it's because they have lines. So they're not treated as normal NPCs. And if you antagonize them and get into a fight, the game just kind of freaks out. And here is another proof. Look how I'm carrying this guy. Yeah, like a baby. This is not normal. This, this is not normal. There you go. Get fixed. Sounds like paradise. 24 hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then? Okay, so uh, this is Finger's handiwork, and this guy 
is really, really bad at his job. More of a, okay, what's going on here? Johnny? Oh, yeah, you all right? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? No, I see it. Fingers, know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Yeah, man, this is this is really bad, and this is where Evelyn ended up with this guy. Look at this place. Look at this place. You owe me, and you go fuck off the greener pastures. Wait, what? 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 Excuse me, ma'am. Is this man threatening you? Or was he th threatening I Judy? It sounded like. Hope that teaches those candy ass hey, guys hey. not to come around here no more. Huh. Yeah, I hope so too. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cut. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Can I scan all these uh, people here? Yeah. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Yeah, did you see like the people up downstairs? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Yeah, you should I had be. no idea anything had happened. Really? We'll find her. I know Hasn't she will. been missing for like days on end? After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Maybe she just didn't want to bring trouble to you and the mocks. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. I'm pretty sure they heard the conversation. I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Okay. I think Evelyn's here. I used to work at Clouds. Yeah, let's go with. Yeah, let's ask some questions. You worked at Clouds? Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Okay, yeah, Tom actually helped me. She means a lot to you, doesn't find she? Find Evelyn. And you've arrived Sora. at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Okay, I have a slightly different impression of her, but hey, to each to each their own. I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God no, because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that he's not the only one that could have done some things to her. These euro dollars are just here for the taking. It's always weird when you find money just lying around. With how hard up for cash these guys are presented to be, you know, they, they're all here to see this guy because they can't afford anyone better. They have faulty and damaged uh, cyberware. And, uh, and yet there's money on the table right there. You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. Um, fine, I'll wait. That, that's to wait. Oh, no, no, I, I can't stand up now. I cannot stand up. Why can't I just stand up? 
I'm not going to threaten them. I'm also not going to lie to them, apparently. I can wait. Find yourself. I can pay them. I need to talk to him. It's important. Oh, jeez. You think we're just here to polish our nails, huh? No. I'll let you cut in front of me. Thank you. You're a real pain in my cleat, Mitzi. You know that? And you might as well knock and find out when he's mopping up. Supposed to be a goddamn clinic. Wait, Not in any of your blonde red. Go on now. Don't blood. you worry about her. Face plates previous. Come on, let's go. A longer face than you. I kind of wanted to see what's up with this thing. Don't worry. Your Services about me schedule. We Hold on. In. Hold on. Wow, this guy really does have a full calendar for today. Admin. Ooh. BD one. <laughs> the crappy defense of the website. Okay, next. Page not found. Did I just delete his page? What happened? Oh no. Schedule. No appointment. <laughs> I just wrecked his calendar for the day. Sorry, guys. Yes. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? Um. I wanted to hack your computer. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Yeah, let's cut straight through. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, oh, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. What? You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. Well, me not so much, but she is. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? What the heck do you have in that so, bottle? What brings you here? You install 14 implants? Yeah, that's true, but I can't say anything. Uh, well, I used to ride in nomads. Good. Source of folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. Yeah, take that. <sighs> Please. Let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. You looking for a friend? <laughs> the way you say that, just... Who do you help the working girls no. around here? Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. Yeah, unfortunately. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Really? Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like, like they deserve it. A Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks, really. I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. It's probably not easy for your clients, too, when your hand uh, slips and you name them. Forest. Name mean anything to you? No. Nope. <laughs> they call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. At Cloud. You... you talk to him? I thought you didn't know. Woodman's got nothing left to say. I wish I could say that. I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn Introduced? To more like brought. Introduced? Yeah. Interesting choice of words. I know. Rolled Even for her me. in on a gurney more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. That's terrifying. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. And you're not exactly a state-of-the-art Ripper Doc. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here 
happy and smiling. Well, another one or attack, obviously. The instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. All right. You're scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. All right. Thank you. See, you should have just left with that. Would have, uh... Need air. I'll be outside. Would have avoided all of this unpleasantness. What is, what is this? What is this bottle? And this computer? Why can I not jump? Is the ceiling here really low or something? I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. It's not your fault. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. That's more than we had about two minutes ago. Dead said symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit'd be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leave something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Okay, let's Pleasures hear it. of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Okay. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Okay. Sure. We can check that out as well. well let me th think for a sec. Dark net domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. Oh, don't I know it. I'll wait in the van. Okay. I'll be there momentarily. So either ask around or locate a terminal. Let's go ahead and locate a ter Oh, there we go. Wi-Fi V99. Wait, 
There it is. What lies beyond the black wall? Lenny. Gotta find someone named Lenny. I have a feeling I already know where he is. Looking for a ripper, Doc. Goes by fingers. <laughs> Heard of him? Fingers, fingers. Sets off a buzzer. Tell you that much. Know where I can find him. Not a clue in the world. Okay. What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know don't need to ask. Well, that's generally how questions work. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? No. Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Oh, yeah? I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <sighs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies. You can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Got anything that might interest me? <laughs> Why am I yelling all of a sudden? Why am I yelling? Okay, let's sell this guy. Some of the junk we picked up off of those three tryhards that were looking to hassle me. This junk ain't worth nothing, man. And uh, what? VIP token for clouds. I can have those. Have some fun in there when they reopen. <coughs> Guessing their security team is going to need a bit of time to uh, recover from the beating I uh, handed out. Right, that's pretty much all this guy's money so now let's see what does he have he's selling <coughs> common items for 50 these are 75 okay what is this the one I, I needed a thousand screw you man pleasure doing biz with you I wish I could say the same oh crap I can't believe that actually worked <laughs> I cannot believe that actually worked. Oh, wait. Oh. <clears throat> uh. Surprising. The cops came really fast, and I I, I should have just <clears throat> looted everything. I should have just looted everything and made a run for it. Pleasure doing biz with you. That was so sleazy. I can't believe that punching him actually worked. There we go. So now, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, pick up the body. What? How come I can't loot him this time? The fuck you want? I want to loot this guy. Huh. That is really weird. I need to investigate why you can loot him sometimes and other times, no, you can't. Also, I'm being uh, chased by the cops right now. All right. Uh, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.